Hello, everybody. Welcome to the Worm Party. Worm party, worm party, worm party, worm party, worm party, worm party. Welcome to the worm party. have a slide prepared, a flat slide with a cover slip of the pond water that we looked at in the last stream. So we can uh, take a look and see if it has uh, increased our visibility. And there's a couple bubbles in here too. So see, I think yeah, that's outside. So that's the edge of the cover slip. Oh, there are some things in here. This guy's making himself dizzy. Looks like we have a little rotifer friend right here. See now, uh, this confirms my theory. Okay. Here we have below on the bottom here too is, I believe this is golden algae, just because I've seen videos of it before. I'll have to confirm that, but inside of this rotifer is some golden algae he's been eating. Now that I've got that on a flat slide, I can actually go to the third objective. This will be the first time on Worm Party and I've been able to go to the third objective. Now I'm adjusting the focus here so we can see the little cilia, maybe. You can see all the little parts of him, parts of this single-celled animal. Just adjusting the focus. It's it's tough when you're at this uh, magnification. Get clear images. Because the depth of focus, depth of field is so narrow. It's just a narrow little slice. So I'm backing out on the focus. He goes out. Go back in. 
about there. That's about that's about right. So I think this is a uh, rotifer, but it l like the second type of rotifer, not the type we normally see on this channel. But I could be wrong. It also looks kind of like the uh, tetrahymena from just from photo or from drawings I have over here. I have like a little chart from the internet to look at to try to compare. If anybody, uh, if anybody out there knows what this is exactly, go ahead and leave a comment. Going back out to the second objective now, and back out to the first, I want to see what else is in this sample. Not even at the top of the, lose detail from the stream. Well, at least uh, now I can go in tighter on these guys. So let's see. Um, YouTube, it should be streaming out at, see these are little bubbles here we're seeing should be streaming out at 1080, 60 frames a second um, on uh, Periscope it's about half of that, it's like 540 or something, it's 960, 540 that looks neat little bubbles there, oh here we go, here's something what are you? So yeah, I've had some trouble with uh, Periscope, although I like being on Periscope because... Now this looks like a rotifer for sure. I like being on Periscope because maybe some people will find this stream that wouldn't normally find it. Here we have Rotifer. See his little wheels spinning? Two little wheels moving the water around. We also cast to the TV on YouTube, and it does 1080, but uh, I think it depends on your on your TV and everything, on your equipment. So yeah, this is uh, the closest I've ever seen a rotifer under this microscope. You can see his little insides moving around. I don't know what he's doing there. Digesting? Yeah, who knows? Still spinning his little rotifer wheels. Looks like he's trying to eat that algae. It's not really moving. So yeah, I had built this box for making music or for controlling the music software. I also thought about um, just setting up a keyboard over here and just playing some electric piano, some nice soft electric piano while we look at these little alien dudes. Uh, this little box is fun, but it's uh, it's only got six buttons, so it I've set it up to uh, play a pentatonic scale in A, pentatonic minor, and then uh, can have all the knobs to control the LFOs and stuff, resonance, frequency, portamento, things like that.
so I can just, you know, some spacey sounds to go with this space alien thing. Right, I'm gonna back out onto the second, that's the second objective, then to the first objective, which means I have to refocus. And let's go around in here and see what else we can find. If you like streams like this, Share, subscribe, like, leave a comment. If you think this is weird, I don't know, leave a comment. It's kind of weird. So yeah, so uh, this is just one drop of water under a flat slide, one drop of pond water, that is. I didn't just get this from the sink. Here's a couple of, here's something. What do we got here? Go to the second objective. And the third. Well, I don't really know what that is. It looks very similar to the uh, what I thought was a rotifer earlier, which is actually now I'm thinking it's not, but it's got that like, it's got those little cilia, but it's more orbish. It looks like it's trying to eat something or it's stuck to something here. Or who knows? So it's a uh, worm party on YouTube, worm party on Periscope, worm party one on Twitch. Thanks to Steve Luckner for being my first follower on Periscope. He's a nice guy, that Steve Lugner. Now he has a second channel so you can watch him cook food and stuff. I could do a channel where you could watch me cook food, but yeah. Seems like a lot of effort. This thing is like ejecting something, it looks like. It's hard to say what's going on in this view here. All right. 
Let's go back out. First objective. 100 times magnification. Rotifer. A microscopic slide with uncooked food. You mean like raw meat or raw? You can do uh, vegetables and things like that uh, is and meat I as long as you slice it very, very, very thin. Like just get a really tiny little slice. I just cooked some food. I could put some cooked food under <laughs> the microscope. Might be interesting to see um, uncooked versus cooked food. Put some raw chicken next to some cooked chicken and see what it looks like, the differences. Yeah, it might be fun. Aliens. We had uh, some kombucha that we looked at under the microscope, and you know, we could do that again. It's uh, it's just a little bunch of little bacteria, basically that you see, and um, grains of yeast and things like that. But uh, we could try that again. Dairy cultures are interesting too. Especially cheese cultures are interesting to me because um, there's so many different types. And I wonder how they, I mean, I know they they know how, and they know what types they have based on how they cultivate it, but um, it'd be interesting to see how, how it looks under the microscope as well. Another little happy rotifer. Spinning his little wheels. Mead. Yeah, if it's got uh, sediment, especially. You can look at that. Cultures. Mm -hmm. I don't know much about the, that, like the difference between Canadian and Irish and U.S. dairy cultures, or I would I would imagine French and Italian too, because cheese is generally f most cheese is made from in France. Most cheese comes from France. Love cheeses, and it's Italy. You can almost see it uh, looks like a digestive tract. Who is more cultured? I think it depends on when was the last time you had a shower. I could get real cultured if I just, you know, sit at home and not not take a shower and for days, get some nice cultures.
we have two cats that have a competition going on. One is older than the other cat. So that cat, the old ca older cat just holes up in her room in her territory and uh, doesn't allow the other cat to cross the line. And the younger cat thinks she owns the entire neighborhood. So, yeah. So the cat in the picture is with the lasers is the older cat and the black cat on s in space on the moon is the younger cat. Here's another one. If you saw the stream before, the water, this pond water is filled with these guys. Now, of course, right now they can't move really, so they're just kind of stuck. Three cats and a dog, that's a lot. That's a lot of the aminals. Lost my view. I gotta go back to the second objective. Gotta find this guy again. There we go. No, that's not it. That's not it. What happened? I lost it. Oh, there he is. There you are. I found you. Oh, there you are. Pretty cool looking. Almost looks like an acorn or something. He's got those little spikes. So, and that is the uh, the third objective, which I guess is a would be a thousand times magnification. second objective, which would be 400 times. And the first at 100. That does not correspond to the relative size of the things that you're looking at. It's the magnification level of the lenses. I guess that's a question that gets asked on my... Uh, journey to the microcosmos all the time. Those are scratches. Just trying to get down to the bottom of the drop here. Oh, here's another one. He's trying to suck in some food. Those little wheels. Little cilia hairs.
aliens. pretty cool I think it's pretty cool all right so that's the pond water under a flat slide with a uh, cover slip some music while I prepare a new slide we're going to go for the moss this time. So I'm just going to change that up. I want to look at the tree moss. Collected moss from two different trees. party five drops Take the old slide off here. Oh, you might hear some uh, background music. Someone is outside in their car listening to some slow jams. Oh, yeah. Real loud, too. Real loud slow jams. It's kind of like a thing they do kind of used to it but yeah all right so we're looking at some tree moss moss was scraped off of a tree and again i forgot to get the image uh in the video but okay we're just gonna look at it okay here we go right here at the edge of the drop near the top of the drop now this water i put distilled water in this and let it soak for several hours, about five hours to be exact. The idea is that, you know, uh, it wasn't really sub uh, submerged in water originally. So uh, if there are any microbes to come alive or to rehydrate or anything like that, like, like a tardigrade, well, then you put the water in there and let them come back to life. So by the time you put the, s the drop under the slide, he's uh, usually crawling around or whatever. But that has not yet happened for me. Uh, but here's something. Looks like our friend the rotifer This is the type of rotifer that we normally find. Kind of moves around like a worm until it decides to open up its little wheels. And these guys, uh, typically I've seen them, they'll stick their tail to the glass and then they'll reach up and uh, open up the the wheels kind of opens up like jaws, but kind of sideways. 
and it's a little bit tricky to get focused on them, but sometimes I do get some decent shots. Rob the Rotifer, you named him. There he is. What's up, Rob? Microscopic underpants. Okay. Um, a cover slip is the underpants, I guess. Mm. Okay. Is like clear plastic underpants. So Rob's a little slow. Looks like he just got reanimated or something. Or he's got some things stuck to him. He's a sticky dude. Yeah, looks like he's looking around for something to eat. I got some chicken. Want some chicken, Rob? So I guess somebody needs to invent some uh, polycarbonate underwear, clear plastic underwear, hard plastic underwear for Adam to wear. We'll call it Adam wear. It'll, it'll be like you're from the future. Wow, we have five people watching on YouTube. We have uh, we had a couple people pop in uh, on uh, Periscope. If you do happen to see us on Periscope, uh, try us on YouTube, Worm Party, and on Twitch, it's Worm Party One. If you want to see some slightly higher resolutions, because uh, Periscope seems to be limiting. I don't know. It looks good on my screen, so I've got a I've got a, a screen on uh off to the left here so that I can look at what uh periscope is is doing. But uh it doesn't look bad really to me. So hopefully uh hopefully uh, you guys uh can see it okay. So Rob is uh Dave uh it's Dave I think you're going to have to pay for that cuz you know I heard he charges it's not that much though so, you know it's like a it's a door door fee basically Yeah somebody look on Amazon for hard plastic clear underwear I'm sure it's somebody's tried it I could probably 3D print that. There he goes. There goes the rotifer with his little wheels sticking out. Caught something to eat. There he goes. Caught something to eat. pack of clear plastic hard underwear because you know you're going to rip holes in that stuff after you know a month or something right no wait you see the rotifer uh, it's got those like little mandible like things on the inside they're, they're kind of chomping away like it's chomping at food it's kind of like a it kind of it's kind of what it is I think it's like a little uh like a little pair of mandibles that uh help digest the food as it's coming in chew it up Now of course we're back to a depression slide with the with the drop uh, several drops of water so I'm only on the second objective I can't really go to the third one This looks like to be uh, a, a slightly different species of rotifer to me. It's got like a different head shape. 
pretty interesting. Yeah, I guess if you put on hard plastic clear underwear, after a while it would just steam up and then you wouldn't be able to see through it anymore. But then you could go out in public and not get arrested. He's got some junk stuck to him. I don't know. It's like, he reminds me of like the bag lady from Labyrinth, you know? She's got all that stuff stuck to her back. That's one way to get a culture. Oh, also this little box that I made, I can I can make the buttons or the little faders do anything I want pretty much. So I can make the buttons to be a drum pad too. I can make play little play the drums with them. I'm just not really these buttons have a lot of play. They're actually not the best buttons for what I for what I'm doing with them, but uh it's a fun box. And if you haven't seen it yet, this is this is what I'm talking about. I made this. I printed the box. And it's got a Arduino inside and six knobs and six buttons so I can play tunes. Make sounds. The problem is if you put the rotifer on the button, nothing would happen. He does not weigh enough to do anything. So there's Rob the rotifer, just, you know, doing his little rotifer thing. Let's see what else we got in here. So I'm going back out to the first objective. Got to move my box out of the way here. Do rotifers get pregnant? It's a good question. Why do you think this one's pregnant? Does it look pregnant? I don't know. That's a good question. I know that tardigrades do. They carry eggs around. Oh, here's another rotifer. It seems that every time I try to get some moss off of something, <laughs> that uh, I find these little guys. Um, this is this stream n is not rated R. I would say it's PG thirteen. I guess I'm I'm I may cuss from time to time. Rated R for Rotifer. Well, okay. For Rob the Rotifer. I try and I'll try not to, but my videos are definitely not made for kids. Okay, YouTube. I'm sorry, kids. It's just not advantageous to make videos for children on YouTube with the 
new laws because we got a message. Uh, YouTube creators got a message in their email recently that stated that if you are making uh, content for children, that they may just take away all of your features, all of your YouTube features, including comments, notifications, um, chat, super chats, that kind of stuff, which, you know, super chats, you need a thousand subscribers anyway, but all kinds of stuff. I don't know. These rotifers do seem, I mean, you tell this one here, it's just dragging things along with it. It just, they're sticky. They're sticky, so they st they get stuck to things. And I, and I would imagine that at these scales, you know, the viscosity is a little bit different than what um, than what we would normally expect. But yeah, this base, this rotifer basically has. It looks like he has a giant piece of moss stuck to his butt, and wherever he goes, it just goes with him. I mean, if it happens to be the kind of moss that he likes to eat, he could just turn around and bite that right off, and you know, maybe he's maybe he's got his food source wherever he goes. I don't know. But yeah, he's got a lot of other junk stuck to him. He's a little bit slower than some of the other rotifers I've seen. And I think this is a different species because of the head shape. And now I'm looking at the body shape. He's got these like, like wrinkles that go along his body. It's pretty cool. Moves around like an inchworm. And then when he's ready to try to try to eat some uh, little particles of food in the water, he'll open up his little wheels and start spinning them around. Move the water around. Yeah, it's, it's portable moss. So, you know, I just, we just go around looking for moss. I probably look like a weirdo picking up moss off the side of the road. And, you know, we went to this, uh, this, uh, park today and pay the entry fee. And we got out, uh, four samples. So, what the entry fee was like $8. So that's $2 a sample. Yeah, that's not bad. They had a lot of ducks and uh, cranes. And, uh, wow, look at that green thing up there. Looks like a piece of corn. Looks like a green corn. See that? See, I just, I get sidetracked and I, I see these things. But, uh, yeah. They had a lot of. A lot of ducks, they were kind of like looking at you sideways going, hey, do you have any food? you have any food? Hey, you have any food, dude? You don't got any food? I'm running away. I'm going to run away. Don't want to hang out unless you got some food. So this was from a, uh, this here is some moss that was growing on a big tree. The moss was growing on the north side of the tree. Some fuzzy green moss. And I just took some of it, put it in a test tube, and then put some distilled water in the test tube. And let it sit there for about five hours. And started a stream. There's another rotifer, it looks like. Yeah, you know, and it, what's interesting about the ducks, too, is that they uh, they all, well, at least the, the regular ducks, because they had two different, like, species, I guess. But they had, uh, you know, the regular ducks. You know, you have the mallard ducks, the green, those are the males, and then the, the brown ones, the females. And they, they couple up, they sleep 
next to each other. They're, s- they're light sleepers, though. You walk by them, and then they they wake up and walk away. Yep, another rotifer with junk stuck to them. See, I have to make sure, though, because, you know, every time I find one of these guys, just for a second, I go, is that a tardigrade? Because it's basically like this, but with legs and, and claws and eyes and a face. This doesn't have any claws or legs or eyes. It has a face. Oh, the slow jams have turned into uh looks sounds like old school rap. I can't tell. I got headphones on. Somebody outside is bumping the tunes in their car. Or there's a party going on. I'm not sure which. But, you know, every time I, almost every time I get some moss that's growing on trees or on wood or or dirt or a cliffside, you find these guys, these little rotifers. I've probably found at least three or four different types of these guys. What do you what do you do with a rescue duck? Do you call animal control? Do you take it to a nearby farm and ask a farmer to take it in? Do you take it home? What would you do with it, kitty cat? I know what kitty cat would do with it. Oh, so it was made out of wood. It was a wooden duck. You rescued a wooden duck. I'll bet it. F- I'll bet it floats in your pond because it's wooden duck. I told Twitch that I was playing Minecraft. Does this look like Minecraft to you? I told Twitch I was going to stream Minecraft. No one's watching on Twitch. So maybe that didn't work. I'll have to try a different game next time. Nobody wants to watch your Minecraft stream. There was one uh, setting, I got to find it again, but I was able to type the game that I was supposedly playing on Twitch or streaming on Twitch. And the game I chose was Find the Tardigrade. Because that is the game I'm playing. Well, except right now, I'm just... The game I'm playing right now is Watch Rob the Rotifer. Push some buttons, make some sounds. Turn some knobs. It's fun. I gotta make uh this is the the first incarnation of this box. I'm calling it the basic bitch box. And so it's uh we're talking about ducks because uh I guess the uh the place that we went to today to get these samples had a lot of ducks. Anyway, there were a lot of ducks and cranes, and they were all afraid of people. I guess they, I guess they were looking for food, but they didn't want to have nothing to do with us.
So yeah, I'm going to make another box that has more buttons and more knobs because I can. I don't know about ducks, you know. I, I don't know how I feel about them. I mean, they're okay. They're cute. But um, they're kind of like assholes. They poop a lot. They poop everywhere. And did you know that male ducks have a penis that's shaped like a corkscrew and female ducks have a vagina that's shaped like a corkscrew in the opposite direction. That's messed up. It's like, um, you know, God put the wrong adapter on them, kind of fitted the adapter on backwards. So yeah, this rotifer, look at him. He's look at all this stuff he's carrying on his back. This one he is even more like the like the uh, character from Labyrinth, the old woman character puppet from Labyrinth that has the junk on her back. Pigs. Pigs have a corkscrew and maybe their tail does it go the same direction as the tail? The little curly tail. You guys, we have eight people watching on YouTube. And that's a world record for the worm party. Thank you. Please like. Please subscribe. Please share. Please comment. It's a little weird to have, you know, a box to play, uh, to push buttons and make sounds with on a stream like this. But they're like space aliens, you know, it's kind of like a spacey old sound. Trying to make trying to make worm party like an uh, like a viral international sensation. One subscriber at a time. Either that or or we just hang out and look at things under the microscope. And if like three people show up, well then three people show up. And if eight people show up, well then it's just a bigger worm party. Although I thought should be rotifer party with as many rotifers as we find. What look at look at that. He just picked that thing up and moved it. You gonna pick that put it on your back too? Yeah the the Canadian uh following is is strong right now Canadians like worms just as much as Americans what's weird is that sometimes you see these rotifers you know crawling around like this on the glass and they're like this guy's like weighted down, but th you then other times you see them just swimming through the water with their little rotifers wheels out. Rotifer means wheelbearer. 
So, and the little, uh, can't, he's this guy, this guy right here is not really doing it, but when he wants to eat or wants to move water around, he sticks out his little face and s it like splits open and then like two little wheels start spinning. It's really not wheels, it's uh, cilia hairs that he spins around that in a pattern that kind of makes it look like a wheel. We found another big chunk of moss there. You gonna collect that too, dude? Uh, he's slow. So I'm going back out. I haven't even looked at this entire drop yet. I'm looking at these rotifers. I'm still near the top of the drop. Another rotifer. There's something in the center here that's just staying there. I don't know what that is. Oh, the rotifer image? I have it right here. There it is. These are the normal type of rotifers that we find. And there's two types, but this is the most common one. Let me go back out. Maybe I can do a side-by-side. Side-by-side? Side-by-sides are great. Somebody said we should start doing side-by-sides. Who was that? Who was it that said that? Anyway. Leave a comment if you know who said that, who told us to do side-by-sides recently. So yeah, you can see the the similarities in the body shape especially and you can see the that kind of bright dot near his head is the mastax trophy. That's like the, you know, like mandible kind of things I was talking about earlier. Thanks for stopping by, Stacy. Long time no see. It's always a warm party. I'm going to be doing a, a stream uh, once or twice a week on my days off and as samples permit. But there's always stuff to collect, you know. Tell your friends. So let me turn this. Let me turn this image off here. Go back out to the first objective. phone is about to die. It's been watching Periscope. There's nobody on Periscope right now. No one watching me on Periscope. That's okay. Wow, it's like a rotifer party right here. See, rotifer party. Not worm party.
worm party. That looks like a dead rotifer. Jams. Beats, 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 jams, 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 jams. There you go. There's a rotifer. And it looks like some little uh, paramecians. That are like the second type. These little fast, lumpy guys swimming around. What else is in here? Lots of rotifers. Lots of little chunks of plant. That thing looks like something. kind of obscured by something too. It's tough to see here. Another dead rotifer looks like. He got fat before he died at least. Maybe that's why he died. He got too fat. It can happen. Just saying. Another rotifer. A small one. 
with stuff on his back. I imagine that if uh, if Emeril Lagasse celebrates Halloween, then he is always a vampire for Halloween. Get it? Vampire. So, uh, I'm cleaning, up, cleaning off the slide here. I should put on the music. So I want to go to another sample here on another slide. This is going to be the second batch of tree moss, second tree. We're a party, party, we're a party, we're a party. That's about four drops. Moving the slide up to the microscope. Put the slide in place. Going up to the top of the drop. We'll see what we got in here. What's in here? So a very oddly shaped drop. It spread out very strangely. I almost, I, I got all the way to the edge on the top and the bottom with only four drops. Sometimes I can put a lot more, but it just depends. I think it kind of depends on the dropper. I have a lot of different shaped ones, different sized ones, I mean. Looks like a rotifer in the bottom here. Very chubby one. Chubby rotifer. Yeah, he's a he's a rather large rotifer. Cuz I'm on the second objective here. Yeah, he is a sizable guy. Big fat one. Chodifer. Yeah. Grotifer. Blotifer. He's a big one. Here comes your buddy. 
Here comes your friend. He's just barreling through. He just does not care. You better move out of the way. This guy's just coming through. Oh, he's in a traffic jam. Oh, what's going to happen now? What's going to happen now? You going to fight it out? Nope. Just going to go their separate ways. Oh, nope, this one's coming back for some more. He's not done. He's not finished with you. He wants to fight. He's only half your size. Thinks he can take you on. Rota for a fight. Or maybe it's a race? Where's the finish line? Oh, look, the little one's going for a shortcut. This is the slowest turn I've ever seen, you guys. Coming around the track. I can't tell what they're doing, like... Are they going separate ways? Is this one following the other one? I guess they're not territorial. Oh, look. There's another one. Another road for party. Oh, now these guys look like they're stuck together. Oh, are they are they doing it? What are these two guys doing? Nope, they're just stuck in the same place. I had to plug in my phone because my phone was dying. It's at 7%. Got three rotifers here. Two now. This guy over here. What else is in this drop? Man, there's rotifers abound. Looking for tardigrades. When am I going to find a tardigrade? I didn't realize how easy it is to find rotifers. And how difficult it is to find tardigrades. Well, here anyway it is. I think it's because I haven't really found any lichens yet.
And I think tardigrades like lichens. So I didn't realize you guys uh, have been making some comments that um, YouTube doesn't like. <coughs> so I'm just going through and showing them because, you know, they're not offensive to me. But YouTube flags them because of certain words. So and I don't see what's weird is when one of those comments is made, it doesn't come through my restream IO app when I'm in here streaming to multiple platforms so I have to actually go into the YouTube chat with my phone or something else to see um, the comments so like if you guys like put a, a bad word or or something I guess I don't know questionable I guess y um, somebody said ducks are rapists I think that's funny but, you know, YouTube is, like, sensitive. The YouTube is a snowflake. YouTube needs a safe space. But YouTubers don't. People, people don't. People don't need that. So yeah, this rotifer at the top of the screen here is really big. And then there's like a little bitty rotifer right in the middle. Let's see what else is in here. More <laughs> rotifers. More rotifers. This phone I have is a LG G7 Thin Q V twenty forty. 30 something I don't know it's a thin Q it's a it's a V 30 I think I think that's what it is G6 V30 I don't know. it's one of those it's a good phone it gets it can get all the way down to 1% and still be on and doing things It was at 7%. I just plugged it in. It's already at 11%, and it's been streaming on YouTube or, or watching YouTube. So not at full screen, but still. I, I like LG. I switched from Samsung to LG. Ooh, ha, Yahweh. That's scary. Don't buy those Chinese phones. They'd be spying on you. Not that... Not that you have any state secrets or anything, but but the it is it is rumored that the Chinese phones are putting chips in there that have firmware 
that you can't change that or can't access or identify that will track your info. I don't know. I don't know how important that is, but they're good phones, though. They have some neat colorations and stuff on them. Decent features. But I will never go back from LG now as long as they keep their headphone jack, which they seem to be dead set on doing. That's good for me. I like headphone jacks. Stupid Apple. Trying to be innovative and getting rid of things. Trying to declare things obsolete that aren't. And then you just made a bunch of money on adapters. Stupid Apple. I love watching that guy, Louis Rassman. Very, very critical of Apple because he repairs Apple MacBooks mostly. He doesn't repair uh, phones, but he knows enough about that work to know that Apple is uh, somewhat of a shady company when it comes to quality and reasons for putting safety uh think you know precautions in their hardware in the wrong place or uh you know charging gouging customers for repairs that um could be you know, sp a lot simpler or could be a lot more uh, inexpensive but you know one little thing goes wrong with your MacBook and they'll just tell you to buy a new one it's kind of ridiculous So yeah, this moss growing on the side of a tree is full of rotifers. I don't think I've seen more rotifers in one sample. And big fat rotifers too. And rotifers like hanging out together. It's cool. This guy uh, to the lower left is kind of doing the, the little rotifer thing. At least I thought I saw him sticking his wheels out. He did there. It's just tough. He just keeps moving around so much. Little rotifers. Rotifaries. You know what we have not found is worms, which is kind of interesting. No worms. I like all these little pieces of moss that kind of look like corn cobs. It's pretty cool. Maybe it's maybe it's corn moss. That's what I would call it if I if I got to name it. That's why I don't get to name things.
So the next worm will be named Hugh. Hugh the worm. Only if he's a huge worm. If I find a nematode, maybe I'll name him Hugh if he's a big nematode, giant worm. I'm at the bottom of the drop. Thanks for joining us on the Worm Party. I'm going to be doing a stream once or twice a week. Might do one tomorrow afternoon. Got one more sample to look at. Might look at some of the pond water some more too. That's pretty cool. Maybe we'll try to look at a rotifer, one of these types here under the flat slide. There's a lot of different things we can do. Cooked meat, raw meat, all that good stuff. But anyway, thanks for joining us on the Worm Party. Don't forget to like and share and subscribe. Catch us again tomorrow.